So next up will be 3rd Nephi, chapter 30. Hearken, O ye Gentiles, and hear the words of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, which he hath commanded me that I should speak concerning you. For, behold, he commandeth me that I should write, saying, Turn, all ye Gentiles, from your wicked ways, and repent of your evil doings, of your lyings and deceivings, and of your whoredoms, and of your secret abominations, and your idolatries, and of your murders, and your priestcrafts, and your envyings, and your strifes, and from all your wickedness and abominations, and come unto me, and be baptized in my name, that ye may receive a remission of your sins, and be filled with the Holy Ghost, that ye may be numbered with my people who are of the house of Israel. Okay, so this is a, which is a short chapter, right? Only two verses in this whole chapter. And as you can see in the title, it says, Mormons appeal to the Gentiles. Right? So again, remembering who the Gentiles are, they're the people who are not of the house of Israel. Right? So as you can see right at the beginning, it says, Hearken, O ye Gentiles, and hear the words of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, right? which he has commanded me that I should speak concerning you. Right? So in other words, he's delivering this message for, for Jesus, and, and uh, he's delivering it mainly to the Gentiles right now, right? Because we've got to remember the Gentiles are going to be the ones to receive this book in the first place. So even though it's been all writing about the house of, house of Israel, it says, now this is for you, the, the Gentiles. Here's something that Jesus wants to, wants to tell you. Okay, so then, then in the second verse, this is what, what he has to say. It says, it says, turn all you Gentiles, all right, from your wicked ways, so turn from your wicked ways, repent of your evil doings, and now it's going to list a whole bunch of different things you might call evil doings, all right? As you can see them there, lying and deceiving, right? You know, that are, and then your whoredoms, secret abominations, and, and uh, idolatries, which would be the worship of idols, right? And uh, murders, priestcrafts, envying strifes, and all wickedness and abominations, right? So all different things. So whatever it is that uh, you would be guilty of, it says turn away from that. Right? Whatever sinful condition you find yourself in, you, you want to get out of that, right? And that would be to, to I mean, I don't really ask to anybody, but in this case, it's talking to the, the Gentiles, that whatever sinful condition you're in, so you want to change your life. So put that, put that behind you, right? Put that aside so you can move forward as a servant of, of Christ. As it says in the, in the last part of that, it says, put that all aside. It says, come unto me, unto Jesus, right? And be baptized in my name, that you may receive a remission of your sins. So you see, this is like, you know, when we preach the gospel, right? That's what we, what we say, that we talk to people who are uh, sinners, and we tell them to change a life. We tell them to, to come unto Christ, re repent of your sins, be baptized, and then, then you can start a new, a new life in, in Jesus Christ, right? And that's what it says there. You may receive a remission of your sins and be filled with the Holy Ghost, that you may be numbered with my people who are in the house of Israel, right? That, as you, you know, that... Uh, attend at this church, you know that uh, when somebody is baptized, they, they go out the river, we, we baptize them, we come back here, we pray for them, and they receive the, the Holy Ghost. All right? Then the Holy Ghost leads you through the rest of your life. So the Holy Ghost is that piece of, of God's Spirit within you, which uh, directs you as to what to do. It helps you to serve God. It helps you to know what God wants you to do. So that the Holy Ghost is, we always say, it's a big benefit of being part of the Lord's family, because it gives you that after after you're, you're baptized, which is the Holy Ghost, and away, away you go, you can serve God. And, and notice at the very end of that, it says that once you do that, it says then you get to be numbered with my people who are of the house of Israel. Because if you're around at the time that Israel is gathered together, at the time of Zion, right, that, that's going to be where the action is, right? That's going to be where God's people are. So you, you'll, you'll want to be there. And so it says that even if you're of the Gentiles, where even though Zion is primarily for Israel, but any of the Gentiles who are serving God, or, you know, baptize, and baptize, give your life to Christ, they, they get invited too, right? You get to be part of it too. You get to be in that place where, where the Lord's going to appear, where, where you're going to see a lot of miracles, where you're going to see uh, people uh, healed as soon as they're prayed for, and so forth, right? That's something that's in the, the future, the time of Zion. So it says, well, it's primarily for Israel, the Gentiles get invited too if you're serving God, you're part of the, the family of Christ, right? So it's an invitation from the Lord to, uh, to turn away from your, your sins, Serve God, be part of the, the family of God, and you get to be then gathered with the house of Israel when they're gathered together at the time of Zion.